volcano today. We finally know where Yellowstone's volcano will erupt next. A detailed look at Yellowstone's magma storage system finds that only one region is likely to hold molten magma for the long term. New research has pinpointed the exact location where Yellowstone's supervolcano is likely to erupt. It won't erupt today, but a future eruption would likely be centered on the northeast side of the national park, the new study finds. That doesn't mean Yellowstone is likely to still be a national park when it erupts. Such an eruption is expected to occur hundreds of thousands of years from now, study co-author Ninfa Bennington, a volcano seismologist at the Hawaiian Volcano Observatory, told Live Science. The research, published January 1st in the journal Nature, found that instead of being stored in one big blob beneath Yellowstone, the molten magma is lurking in four separate reservoirs within the caldera's crust. To the west, this reservoir doesn't touch the deep mantle rocks that would heat it from below, so it remains liquid and eruptible. But to the northeast, near a landmark called the Sour Creek Dome, deep rock is heating up magma trapped in the crust. That means that while the magma beneath Yellowstone's west side will likely start to cool and solidify, the northeast side will remain hot. Previous studies of Yellowstone have used earthquake waves traveling through the caldera to try to gauge where the molten magma and solid rock are beneath the park. But waves can change their behavior based not only on whether they're moving through a solid or a liquid, but also on their temperature. That means hot, solid rock can be hard to distinguish from equally hot, liquid magma. The new study used a method called magnetotellurics to get a better picture. Earth's spinning core creates a magnetic field that encircles the planet. Because magma contains magnetic minerals, underground pockets of liquid magma create their own mini-magnetic fields that can be detected at the surface, too. Using instruments placed around Yellowstone, the researchers mapped these mini-fields to find hidden pockets of magma. They found four pockets that together contain more liquid magma than was present during Yellowstone's major caldera forming eruptions in the past. One 2.8 million years ago, one 1.3 million years ago and one 640,000 years ago. This magma is about six or seven miles, 9.6 to 11.2 kilometers, below the surface, Bennington told Live Science. But only in the northeastern region of the caldera is the magma in contact with hot basaltic rock from the mantle, which would keep the magma liquid long term. Despite the large amount of magma building up beneath Yellowstone, the caldera is unlikely to erupt anytime soon. That's because the magma is confined to pore spaces in the solid rock inside the caldera, like water in a sponge. Only when more than 40% of these pore spaces are filled can the magma in the pores connect, move and begin to erupt, Bennington said. He and his colleagues estimate that the fraction of pores filled is 20% or less, similar to estimates in other studies. The concentration of magma in these pore spaces is much lower, so there's less pore space to fill with magma, he said. That means it's not as mobilized and eruptible. But as hot rocks warm the northeastern magma pool over tens of thousands of years, that could eventually change. How long it will take, or whether it will happen before the mantle rocks northeast of Yellowstone lose contact with their magma reservoir, remains to be seen.